Hello my dear family members, I am very much happy to inform you that most of the questions are common from TCS NQT Prime materials. By the way, as TCS NQT again going to conduct the exam on 14th February, every candidate must give importance to the recent questions. So today we will be going through a coding question which was asked on TCS NQT 15th January exam and this is repeated. That means any questions can be repeated. So let's see what's the question. So the question is actually regarding write a code to find factorial of a number without using star I mean multiplication or division right. So without using those you have to achieve factorial of a number. So what is the factorial of 5 that is 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 that is 120 right. But here we are using multiplication. So what is the requirement that is we, do, we, we, we are not supposed to use the multiplication or division right. So by recursion we can achieve the, uh, the factorial of a number like this way. But here we are using asterisk right I mean multiplication. So we can't use multiplication. So how can we achieve factorial of a number by without using star I mean multiplication or division. So what we have to do let's say for n is equal to 5 we have to achieve at first 5 then we have to achieve 20 right then we have to achieve uh, 60 that is 20 multiply 3 then we have to achieve 120 right. So however we have to achieve by any logic or algorithm right so let's write the code and this will be more clear right and i have prepared this material in which i have included all the previous year full question set more than 20 mock tests interview experiences and many other resources i'm giving guarantee if you solve two set of papers then you will get almost all common questions so if you are interested then please knock me at my insta id techno.uf okay so let me create a class public main sorry public class main public static void main and string array okay now uh, let's say the number is 5 or anything you can take input from the uh, from user okay so at first we have to achieve 5 then 20 for n is equal to 5 right so how can we achieve so let's say we run we are running a uh, for loop int i is equal to 0 i less than n and i plus plus then we will be adding a value like sum plus is equal to something right so we have to at first initialize the sum is equal to 0 to add something in the sum variable right and what we are adding that is let's say we are adding at first 1 then we'll get uh, sum is equal to 5 right so for n is equal to 5 we'll get 5 right so we'll not take 1 directly here we'll initialize a variable result or anything is equal to 1 and we'll add that result into sum then the result will become 5 at first right I mean for n is equal to 5 the first uh, outcome will be 5 right okay so and after that we will update the value of result is equal to sum right so the sum was 5 and after the for loop the result variable becomes the value of sum that means the result becomes 5 from 1 so that means uh, if we run the for loop again for n minus 1 times that is 4 times then the 5 will be added with sum like 4 times so uh, sum sum was what sum was 0 and result was 5 so 5 will be added 4 times so this will be 20 right so how n can be decreased by 1 
just here we have to increase the n by 1 and we have to run a while loop to iterate through all the elements right i mean to iterate for n times n greater than 1 and here the close the curly braces right so i hope this will be sufficient just let me print the value of sorry system dot out dot println and we will print the value of result right okay let's see what's the output i hope this will be okay sorry sorry actually we have to add the end sum is equal to zero here right because every time we are iterating uh, for loop we have to initialize sum is equal to zero right okay okay so let me run it and see if this is right or not so 120 right let's say n is equal to 4 so output should be 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 that is 24 right okay so for n is equal to 4 output should be 24 and it is 24 right so i hope you uh, you have got the logic right so if you are uh, familiar with python then just implement the logic i have used here right and if you still can't solve in python then let me know i'll give you the code in the comment section so i hope you liked this session so if you like then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tcs and qt and if you want more such content then please share this content with your friends so that i can be motivated and i will be regular in the content creating right so thank you for today's session